Welcome back to NBA Cinema. So tonight I want to talk about Dylan Brooks and his issues with the Los Angeles Lakers, more specifically LeBron James, you know, since he was in Memphis. But tonight he went across LeBron James' face. Uh, LeBron was laying on the ground for a little bit. He got into it with Jared Vanderbilt, got him ejected from the game. And, you know, this is what Houston brought Dylan Brooks in for. You got Sengum. You're hoping Jalen Green turns into a consistent star. Brought in Eamon Thompson. Got a lot of young talent collected, but they brought in like Sengun, Jeff Green. I mean, they brought in Jeff Green, Dylan Brooks, Fred Van Vliet. Those players to kind of put some seriousness on the team. Um, you know, show work habits. And all of them have different roles. You got Fred Van Vliet to be like the leader point guard to – help these younger guards you got Dylan Brooks to be you know that toughness on the wing that uh, mixes it up gets in people's faces uh, you know takes on the challenge of guarding the best wings in the league you got Jeff Green you know he, he can do some of that too but Jeff Green's like a silent killer you know what I'm saying silent leader um, very athletic still can play on the perimeter play in the post, all that. But we're going to take a look at what Dylan Brooks did today, and we're going to look at LeBron James and AD response to his antics tonight. Let's peep. He got, he got the technical, and then when the, after he yeah. got the technical, he went up to Dylan Brooks and actually touched him on the back of his head. There's the first one. There's the technical. Now he goes up <laughs> to Dylan and has more to do with it. Hit him upside the back of his head. So. Oof. We were here earlier in the year. Uh, we asked you about uh, Brooks, okay. and you said next you question. Yeah, uh, both. I mean, you take a hard foul as part of basketball, but you're just not going to blame me to push someone in their back, you know, when they have no control of their body in the air. Um, I think you should have got ejected for that. Uh, and then, you know, the blade, obviously, you know that him and Brian have their whatever, and um, from what I saw, it was just a blatant hit on to the face, so the ref saw it differently. Um, it's what it is, though. If you look at the Houston Rockets, you know, they're right outside the 10th spot for the NBA play-in, and that is an accomplishment for this team, for them to be just in the mix of something that resembles the playoff picture is a big improvement. That's why they brought in Ime Udoka and they got those veterans, you know, and Cam Whitmore has been a revelation for the team, too. Don't let me um, gloss over him. And it's not too crazy to think that if Jalen Green, does, like he played well tonight, but if he doesn't play like that and consistently show that he's the player that he was tonight, Cam Whitmore could emerge as that wing, you know, that dynamic wing to go with Alperen Sangoon long term, you know. So be on the lookout for that, too. But, uh, yeah, Dylan Brooks, man, uh, he, he's always making contact with LeBron with those hands, man, whether it's below the belt, top of the head, something, you know. And at some point, you have to think LeBron may eventually deliver a blowback or somebody on LeBron's team may have to deliver a blow just to say, you know, this is our guy and this won't be tolerated. But now LeBron will have to probably have to pay that type of player's fine because they don't make what LeBron make, which he probably would gladly do. But you have to send a message and not allow uh, Dylan Brooks to just do what he wants on the court as far as physicality. Maybe that's what Vanderbilt was trying to do, um, trying to send that message, and he got ejected. But people like Dylan Brooks, they thrive off of getting you kicked out of the game. So you can't get tricked out of – uh, competition, you know, going back and forth with him. So there's a mental game there to be played and to be had. And, you know, we saw how it happens the other way when LeBron and the Lakers defeated the Grizzlies last year. You know, when you beat them at that game, they unravel. So some of the players have to be a little more um, careful about taking the bait, but they have to at the same time establish uh, physicality first and don't let Dylan Brooks beat them to the punch every time, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time.